Hey, this is a gray bearded ninja. So let's talk about com emergency communications. So maybe you're out in the field, your cell phone has died, you forgot to bring a backup power bank. I always recommend that you carry a power bank in your emergency uh, go bag. But for some reason, you've lost communications with your phone. You're in an area that there may not be cell towers or coverage. So you need to have something to help even the odds a little bit, maybe get you back into the ability to at least hear what's going on, maybe communicate if possible. Now, the interesting thing about the Baofeng UV5R is it's highly programmable. It's a dual band radio and you can program the two meter ham radio frequencies into this as, as well as the family radio service, FRS and GMRS. So when you go to, um, Dick's Sporting Goods or, you know, Target or Walmart, and you see those radios, those camping radios, those are generally either going to be FRS or GMRS radios. So if there are other people out, out in the area that you may be seeking refuge or you may be lost, there is a possibility that you can communicate with somebody using this radio, which is a 5-watt radio, most of those uh, FRS radios and GMRS radios are like barely a watt. I mean, they, yes, they say 17 miles, 30 miles, but that's just a gimmick. It doesn't work that way. And radios work best line of sight when you're in simp simplex mode. When you're in duplex mode, basically you're talking radio to um, a repeater and then repeater out to other radios. Um, and so this radio has that capability. You can talk to the repeater if there's one in the area. And being that that re repeater has a good antenna system on it, it's going to be able to pick up your radio a lot easier. So it gives you an extended range. When you're talking radio to radio, you're, you know, at best in a wooded area, maybe a, a mile or two, three miles, maybe. If you're out on the plains, and there's not a whole lot of structure in between you, that range could be a lot more. I've experimented these things in town, in the bigger, you know, more populated areas with houses and buildings, as well as where I live, which is a small town outside of the big city. And, you know, we can pretty much talk on these all over town. So I think uh, if everybody on your team, you know, on your, your hike, or maybe it's just you, but... Everybody in your, your party has one of these radios and everything is set up ahead of time. You have so much better opportunities to communicate. Yes, there may be some FCC regulations about these imported radios. Uh, they are made from China and they can pretty much do anything you want. Yes, there are you know regulations. What I say to that is, is if you're in a life-threatening situation, do what you got to do to survive. Um, the regulations are just, oh well, just do what you got to do to survive. In a grid-down situation, there's not really a whole lot of choice in the matter. Talking on from this radio to a repeater under the ham radio frequencies, you're supposed to have a license, an FCC ham radio operator's license. However, in a life or death situation, do what you have to do to survive. Listen, I need help. I'm not licensed, but I need help. Here's my, my coordinates. This is where I, I believe that I'm at. And obviously, it's helpful if you have GPS or you have good land navigation skills where you can give them longitude, latitude, coordinates um, so they can send help. This is a great radio. I have it set up on the FRS and GMRS frequencies. I can also get into manual mode and program ham radio frequencies in if I want. I can scan those frequencies and listen around. And if I hear somebody talking, I could be like, Mayday, Mayday, I need help. Can you help me? I'm, I'm over here by the edge of the, the waterfall <laughs> or wherever you're at. So I have this pre-programmed for FRS and GMRS radios because that's what most hunters, most um, hikers, if they do carry the little handheld radios, that's the frequencies they're going to be on. I also, 
have the weather, national weather radio program. So having the National Weather Service frequency on here is great uh, because you can get a lot of information in case of emergencies and weather-related emergencies. Uh, you may be stuck out somewhere, maybe because of an injury, and you know that help is not going to be coming anytime soon. So you build shelter, you build fire, you kind of set up your, your camp, and you're gonna, you may have to wait it out. There maybe there's a, a big ice storm coming, or you know, a really bad thunderstorm and stuff, and you don't want to get caught out in it. Obviously, you want to seek shelter, and if you can't find shelter, you're gonna have to build shelter, um, and that's important. So, the point of this radio is it has options. I can talk on the ham radio frequencies on two meter radio. Uh, the family uh, radio service and the GMRS. And I also, there's another option on this that I really like. Yeah, good song. So we have FM radio on here. So, you know, for if you're out in the wilderness and I'm not saying that you listen to it and you waste your batteries for entertainment, but that's a good way to listen for any public announcements. If maybe things have gotten really bad, maybe a natural disaster or a catastrophe, earthquakes, plagues, whatever, you can get on. You can listen to your FM radio that you can program the frequency in, and listen to that to get news about maybe what's going on. Um, you know, maybe the situation's gotten that bad. We don't know. I mean, um, having options with this one radio. The other thing is, is keeping in communications with your party, with the, your, the people that you're with, if you happen to be with other people. If everybody keeps a radio on them, we have communications, and we can, um, you know, we can communicate as necessary. I don't necessarily always recommend splitting up, but, um, you know, because your batteries are limited. These are these are not batteries that you can generally replace in the field unless you have other additional radio batteries. I recommend that every person have a radio and two or three of these batteries that are fully charged in their packs at all times. But and that may get you through a two, three, four, or five day situation. But you want to leave these turned off. Uh, you know, as much as possible, only use them very sparingly. Uh, we don't want to run the batteries dead on your first night out. Uh, if you're, if everybody's together um, and you've got the situation stable and you've got shelter and all that, and it's getting to be nightfall, there's no sense in messing around um, on the radio, uh, you know, when you want to conserve a, that energy and those batteries. So, these the range on these can be extended because these you can buy different kinds of antennas for these. I recommend that when you store this that you you store it in a sealed bag with the antenna, maybe just a rubber band around it, and put it in a, a Ziploc bag or whatever. Get all the air out and seal it up real good, uh, like a freezer bag, and that way it stays dry. The other, you know, I mean, these are really nice. You can do so many things with this radio. And, and the, the price point on them are just incredible. You can get Baofeng UV5Rs for about $20 a piece, maybe $30. Just depends on, you know, the seller. And I, I bought two of them off of eBay and for no more than 20 bucks a piece. So these are worth their weight in gold. I number all my radios. This is two. Um, these are worth their weight in gold um, in an emergency. And also gives you the opportunity or the ability to, you know, listen to the National Weather Service as well as listen to FM radio to, you know, maybe get a, an understanding of what's going on. Maybe you were um, out in the wilderness and for a reason, you know, maybe you 
you fled the city to go out there uh, and you need to know what's going on and kind of have some local news. Again, conserve your energy. Once you know what's going on and have an idea uh, of the situation, you know, keep it turned off unless you absolutely need to. If you see weather coming in, uh, you can go ahead and listen, you know, for any alerts. There may be a torrent, like in our region, we have tornadoes. So if I'm out in the wilderness and I got a thunderstorm coming in, I want to know if I've got a tornado warning coming. Uh, I may not be able to get back to civilization to get into a basement. So we may have to improvise and, and look for other types of shelter. Uh, if there's lots of lightning, things like that. You know, you may not have the luxury of being able to just jump in your car and go get into a basement. So understanding what's going on, being able to communicate and being updated with information is extremely important. And that's one of the tools that we consider to be very applicable for the modern Shinobi Warrior. This is a Gray Bearded Ninja. Thank you for taking the time to watch and listen to me. Uh, hopefully this will give you some ideas. This is the Baofeng UV-5R radio.